Hello and welcome back to Everything Gaming and today you join me for the very first Forza-thon of Season 1 for Forza Horizon 5. Now this Forza-thon is called a True Super GT and it wants you to own and drive and use a Nissan GTR 2017 that is for all of the challenges. Now this is the car in question, it will set you back 132,000 credits in the auto show. You can of course pick one up in the auction house or win one from a wheel spin. Now make sure you pick up the 2017 and not the 2012 Black Edition one. Now I have also created a tune for you guys to use, it's called S1, the share code is 218-535-044 and that should help you get the challenges over and done with a bit quicker. Now the first challenge here wants you to drive 13.2 miles in the car, so I recommend, as I did with Forza Horizon 4, just hitting up the highway and driving as quickly as possible up and down it. By the time you get to the end of it on a second leg, you'll have pretty much completed this challenge. And remember you can keep track of the distance by hopping back onto the actual Forzathon challenge and it will keep tracking it and keep updating it for each sort of mile that you end up doing. So this challenge isn't so much a challenge, it's just a really, really quick thing for you to do in the car, just drive a certain distance. So that'll be over and done with very quickly. Now the next challenge here wants you to earn a total of six stars from danger signs. So what I did is I just filtered all of my danger signs to see which one would suit it best. Now obviously I'm not fully accustomed with them all yet as I was on Forza Horizon 4. So I just decided to use the launch control danger sign, which is at the main Horizon Festival. Now if you haven't unlocked all of the PR stunts, you do need to invest in, um, I think it was the Horizon Rush, um, and then that will basically enable you to unlock all the PR um, sort of stunts, danger signs, speed traps, etc. Now the good thing about this is there's a long run up from the runway, and even if you earn two stars on each run, that's only three one runs, and it's actually really quick and easy to do. Now the last challenge here just wants you to earn two awesome drift skills in a road racing event. So as you can see here, I just filtered my road racing events and opted for the Horizon Mexico circuit. Again, this is one of the first ones you'll actually do. It's at the main Horizon Festival. There is some very good corners on here. Now the good thing is you can do this on whatever difficulty. You don't actually have to complete or win the race, but it doesn't actually update you with your progress during the race because it won't show you the festival playlist when you're in races, which is weird because it did in Horizon 4, so it's a bit hard to keep track of any challenges that are race orientated. But once you've got two awesome drift skills, not necessarily e-drift, but drift ones, uh, what I did is I just thought, okay, that'll do. So I hopped out, quit, quit the race. I didn't bother completing it. This was only at the sort of first lap sort of thing. And as soon as I came out of it and opened up the festival playlist, the challenge was complete. So you've got three laps to do it. I didn't tweak the race or do a blueprint for it or anything. It was just a standard race I hopped into. As soon as I saw that I'd got actually more than two awesome drift skills, I thought that'll be enough and left. And like I said, it's a bit frustrating that you can't keep track of the challenges or the festival playlist when you're in a race, but it is what it is. Also, guys, don't forget to stick around because I'll be doing a guide for the next photo challenge. And also, I'll be doing a guide for the treasure hunt as well. But apart from that, if you've got any questions, just let me know down below in the comments. And of course, I'll help you out as best I can. Also note that if you go into the car mastery for the GTR, you can get some extra credits, Forzathon points, XP and a super wheel spin. So I'll have a look at that as well if I was you. But like I said, I hope you enjoyed. I hope this helped you out. If it did, don't forget to subscribe and drop a like. But apart from that, folks, I want to wish you all the best. Make sure you stay safe and take care.